What you're seeing is a Kindle Fire HD 7 inch running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So the question that a lot of people are asking right now is why would you run Android on Kindle Fire HD? Well, the question is why not? I have a bunch of reasons for it. First reason is it's much cheaper. You can get Kindle Fire HD for $160 uh, on sale, but that's not that hard to get. And the Nexus 7 is $230. Yeah, you save a lot of money if you buy this instead of the Nexus 7. And although Amazon don't want you to run Android on Kindle Fire HD, they made it a little harder. It runs very smoothly. As you guys can see, it runs extremely smoothly. The web browser runs even more smoother than the Kindle Fire HD. Everything, like the OS just runs much smoother just because of the project butter that was integrated in Android 4.1. The coolest feature is this. If you have a case that automatically goes from sleep to wake, it will still work on your Android OS. So when you just lift up the cover, it will automatically go from sleep to wake or wake to sleep. As you guys can see, I downloaded this game from the Google Play Store. It runs very smoothly, just like uh, any other Android device. I'm going to preface this by saying this is not for everyone. You can root this device very easily, but installing custom ROMs is not that easy. You have to first root it, which is very easy, then install Torp, which is Team One Recovery Project. You can also install Clockwork Mod, and then install the ROM, which is uh, Cyanogen Mod. I'm running 10.1 Cyanogen Mod, and then Gaps, which is Google Play Service. Then you can install anything from Google Play Store. You won't find many instructions on the web about how to install Cyanogen Mod on the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Remember, Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and the 8.9 inch is different. They are totally different OS. So I accidentally messed up by installing Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch Cyanogen Mod on this device which resulted a boot loop of Torp. Then I had to use ADB Sideload to install this and everything was fine. But so that's what I'm saying. You need to be really familiar with ADB and stuff. I had to research a lot. This is first time installing Cyanogen Mod on any Android device for me. And yeah, it was pretty hard. If you guys can get this video 1000 likes, then I will make a tutorial because I don't want to repeat this process again because it was very frustrating and I was going to the same website over and over again. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like this video because when I reach 1000 likes on this video, I'll make a tutorial of how to get how to get Android 4.2.2 Cyanogen Mod Jelly Bean running on this Kindle Fire HD 7 inch.